Do you have a Ryzen CPU in your gaming PC like I do? Are you part of Team Red? Damn Intel. Well, if you are, I've got good news for you because Ryzen CPU owners can now download a better gaming performance. Literally download better gaming performance thanks to a Windows 11 update. Let's get into it, at least, okay? Special shout out to you guys for supporting the channel. If you want to join and join our wonderful members list here and become a legend, click join down below and you'll get your name in every live stream and every video. Will I see your name tomorrow in tomorrow's videos? If you join today, I will give you a personal shout out in tomorrow's tomorrow's videos. It'll be really cool. Come join us, help make content better, and help grow the channel. So let's get to the news. So Ryzen CPU owners can now download better gaming performance thanks to a Windows 11 update. Microsoft's latest KB50-41587 update includes AMD-specific performance improvements. Who doesn't love performance improvements, especially when we've got new games coming out? Like Black Myth Wukong, which is pushing the gaming boundaries with Unreal Engine 5. It says you cannot download more RAM. Well, no, no, it's right. I'm thinking the uh, GPU video RAM. You could technically assign some of your physical RAM to your GPU if need be for textures and whatnot. <laughs> I'm thinking you can download more RAM. You can't. Ignore the apps. If any app you find on the internet tells you you can download more RAM, it's wrong. All right, let's get into this. So if you're the owner of a modern Ryzen, Ryzen desktop CPU, AMD revealed last week that it's working with Microsoft on an optimization patch for Ryzen CPUs that was due with Microsoft's next big Windows 11 version 24H2 update, but Microsoft has now backported this to existing 23H2 version. Um, the result is a significant performance improvement in gaming across a variety of Zen 4 and Zen 5 desktop Ryzen CPUs. Take that, Intel. Good luck. Um, including the popular 7800X3D chip, users will need to look for KB5041587 under Windows Update, Advanced Options, Optional Updates, says AMD in a statement to WCCF Tech. We expect a performance uplift to be very similar between 24H2, 23H2, with KB5041587 installed. Reviewers already started testing Microsoft's 24H2 update for Windows 11, which is expected to be available in late September, and found that on, on average, there's a 10% performance improvement across multiple games running at, running at 1080p on an older Ryzen 7700X. On the latest Ryzen 9700X, hardware and box found that Windows 11 24H2 also provides an 11% performance improvement on average in the same game tests. Initial benchmarks Benchmark results for AMD Len, uh, latest Zen 5 desktop CPUs failed to impress reviewers, leading to the revelation that AMD and Microsoft have been working to optimize AMD-specific branch prediction code in Windows 11. Now that Microsoft has backported this to existing Windows 11 23H2 installs, you no longer need to opt into the release re preview testing to get 24H2 and Ryzen CPU performance improvements. So to summarize, basically, AMD Ryzen CPU users can now experience improved gaming performance thanks to the update, um, which was intended inten originally for the upcoming version but it's been backported to the current 23H2 version. It basically optimizes AMD specific branch prediction leading to an average performance 10 to 11 percent in games, 1080p resolution for both Zen 4 and Zen 5 processors making high performance gaming more accessible without having to get newer hardware because who likes buying newer hardware right anyways guys let me know if you have an AMD APU. I'm AMD to the end ever since I got an Asus G14 gaming laptop which was slim portable almost as big the same size as my MacBook, essentially. And when I turned that thing on, when I got it, it was like 1500 at the time. Got it, could not believe how powerful it was. Even on the built-in GPU, when I was trying to save battery, when I was playing on like battery mode, I disabled the NVIDIA GeForce, I can't remember what GPU it was, was it 1060 or 2060? Disabled that um, and used the built-in AMD GPU that came with it, you know, the processor, built-in integrated graphics. And even it was super impressive on its own. So it came with a built-in, you know, AMD GPU alongside the CPU, um, integrated graphics, as you'd call it, right? And um, obviously the dedicated graphics. Well, even with the integrated graphics, it was like getting me like 90 FPS in Rainbow Six Siege back in the day. And I was like, holy crap, and the battery life massively improved. I was like, AMD is onto something. And I, ever since then, like just heat management, thermals, performance, I've only had bad experiences with Intel when it comes to temperatures, um, just lag, just a lot of different things. Now, I'm not knocking Intel. You might have Intel in your computer or your gaming laptop. That's okay. But with AMD, I've just, it's just been super smooth, super battery. The performance has been there. It's AMD APUs that power the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, the Steam Deck. Um, I've just 
became, you know, come to trust AMD as far as APUs, APUs, CPUs are concerned. I've never gotten to their graphics cards. I'm still an NVIDIA guy, but as far as CPUs, APUs, integrated graphics are concerned, what can I say? I'm AMD all the way. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have an APU in AMD APU and let me know if you've seen any imp uh, improvements in terms of your performance. Anyways, I'm Blaze2K. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon. Will I see your name on the members list tomorrow? Consider joining. It'll be really cool if you join. Join our members and um, help support the content, help support better content, and hopefully support members only events very soon. Anyways, I'll see you in stream very soon because I stream every day, 3 p.m. Eastern. Come join me. Bye.